David Harewood has an interesting take saying that if a white actor wanted to play Martin Luther King, I'd say go for it. And respectfully, I disagree. First of all, it doesn't work that way. Uh, the actor doesn't get to decide what he plays. It's the producer that gets to decide who they hire. So a producer should be the one that decides, okay, well, I want a white person to play Martin Luther King. At which point, the career of that producer is over. They're gonna call him a racist piece of shit, and you're going to see it in the media. It's going to be all about the news, and people will cancel him, actors will disavow. Uh, it's going to be treated like J.K. Rowling's. So, definitely not something that will happen. Uh, but, apparently, David Harewood likes this uh, type of uh, cross-casting scenarios, where you, you put, like, a different actor to play some... I want to point out that this is uh, exclusively American. Uh, Bollywood wouldn't do this. Like, Bollywood wouldn't take uh, uh, historical Hindi. Like, like, for example, they wouldn't take Gandhi and cast a white person or cast a black person to play Gandhi. China wouldn't do this. Like, you wouldn't see um, Cherban Z be played by a white guy in China. Japan wouldn't do this. South Korea wouldn't do this. It's exclusively American. It's a current year type of thing, and I do believe that in the future it's going to be viewed similar to blackfacing. Like, it's going to be viewed as something very offensive that was done. Exactly the same way we would view if someone did cast a white actor to play Martin Luther King. And it's done specifically to save money. It's a marketing strategy. I mean, imagine this, right? Like, I can hire a bunch of new faces, uh, new writers that aren't experienced, and I can pay them very little. And they're going to spew some garbage level of script, which is why in most woke movies, uh, the characters are saying things that normal people would never say to each other. The dialogue is very cringy. Uh, and then I would say that the only reason people don't like my movie is because I casted a white guy in the role of Martin Luther King. And I, and I can say that any type of criticism is just because of that. It's not because my movie is shit. Uh, and then maybe I can say that the white actor that I hired uh, and... I use him as a shield. Oh, look, he's getting mean tweets from people on social media. Look, people are very angry because of the fact that, uh, you know, they're racist. And now he had to delete his social media account. Right? That, that's pretty much how they're doing it. It's not, it's not about, like, making a good movie. It's not about making entertainment anymore. It's like a business. Like, you shit the product and you hope that people are stupid enough in order to buy it. Uh, and you usually hide behind an IP that's popular. But um, there's also another problem with this. If you were to cast like a white guy as Martin Luther King, uh, obviously like Martin Luther King is a very famous person, so um, it doesn't really apply here. Uh, but there are a lot of people who watch movies and they believe that they are historically accurate. Not, not in the sense of a documentary, uh, but at least in the sense that they believe there was a team of historians that did their due diligence before making the movie. Like for example, Kingdom of Heaven. It's a movie about the Crusades, it's entertaining, but it has absolutely nothing to do with the historical reality of the Crusades. But still, there are many people who watch that and they thought, oh my god, look how bad religion was in the past. Oh, look, if, if it wasn't for religion, none of those conflicts would have happened, right? And then they use those movies as genuine reference. And we, we see this on Twitter in real fucking time. Like, there are people who live their life through Marvel movies and Harry Potter. Well, not Harry Potter anymore since J.K. Rowling. But, like, Marvel movies. Like, they keep making, like, oh, my God, this is exactly like when Thanos, blah, blah, blah. Right? So, you can use movies in order to educate people. Like, you can actually do have a team of historians that try to make an accurate representation of the time period so that people get educated. Or you can have shit like this, where you get, like, a white actor to play Martin Luther King, and you can dumb down the fucking masses. And this is the biggest problem, right? Like, instead of, like, trying to educate people, especially when making historical movies, instead of trying to educate them, you're trying to dumb them down. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.